Is keto the best diet on the market or is it dangerous for your health? I'll explain. You see your friends or your colleagues eating gobs of peanut butter by the spoonful and mountains of bacon while shedding pounds, bragging, it's the keto diet, bro. But what exactly is a ketogenic diet? Is it true that it can treat epilepsy? And what foods can it actually eat with this type of meal plan? Are there any side effects you should be concerned about? Not to worry, today I'm breaking down and answering all of your keto diet need to know questions. But before we get into it, hey everyone, I'm Dr. Jordan Wagner. I'm a board certified emergency medicine physician and on my show, I answer your urgent medical questions and clear up myths about certain deadly diseases. If you haven't already done so, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn your bell notifications on. That way, you are instantly alerted when I post a new video. I get a lot of questions in the comments section asking, what should I do to lose weight, doc? What diets do you recommend? Should I try the keto diet? First and foremost, it is important to remember no one specific diet or nutrition plan is the same for everyone. How food affects our bodies is different for each individual. Some of you may thrive on a keto diet, which we will talk about here in a few seconds, but maybe some of you will do better say on a paleo plan or a gluten-free or dairy-free diet. So keep that in mind. But today we are going to be talking about all things keto and whether you should consider it for your nutritional and weight loss goals. First things first, what the heck is a keto diet? In a nutshell, the ketogenic diet is a high fat, adequate protein, low carbohydrate diet. The diet forces the body into a state known as ketosis, which burns fats rather than carbohydrates for energy. How does a keto diet work? The keto diet relies on ketone bodies, a type of fuel that the liver produces from stored fat. Ketosis occurs when people eat a low or no carb diet and molecules called ketones build up in your body's bloodstream. Low carbohydrate levels cause blood sugar levels to drop and the body begins breaking down fat to use as energy. What do you eat on a keto diet? Because a keto diet has such a high fat requirement, followers must, and I repeat, must eat fats at each meal. In a daily 2000 calorie diet, that might look something like 165 grams of fat, 40 grams of carbs, and 75 grams of protein. However, the exact ratio depends on your particular needs. Due to eating this much fat, you definitely want to make sure to incorporate some healthy fats into your eating plan. These include omega-3s, such as those found in salmon and sardines, as well as monounsaturated fats present in foods like avocados, walnuts, almonds, and sunflower seeds. Protein is a part of the keto diet, but it doesn't typically discriminate between lean protein foods and protein sources high in saturated fats, such as beef, pork, and bacon. What about fruits and vegetables? All fruits are rich in carbs, but you can have certain fruits such as berries in very small portions. Vegetables are mostly restricted to leafy greens, but you can eat things like asparagus, broccoli, cucumber, green beans, eggplants, zucchini, and more. Is a keto diet healthy? Interestingly, in medicine, the keto diet is actually used to treat hard to control epilepsy in children. As many as half of young people with epilepsy had fewer seizures after following the diet. And some early research suggests it may have benefits for blood sugar control among people with diabetes. Who is a keto diet right for? As I previously mentioned, the ketogenic diet actually originated as a tool for treating neurologic diseases such as epilepsy. Studies have shown that the diet can have benefits for a wide variety of different health conditions. The ketogenic diet can boost insulin sensitivity and cause fat loss, leading to significant health benefits for people with type 2 diabetes or for those who are pre-diabetic. One study out of Wiley Movement Disorders reported that the keto diet may even help reduce symptoms of Alzheimer's disease and slow its progression. Some researchers have also found the keto diet to be beneficial to individuals who suffer from heart disease, cancer, and Alzheimer's disease. But more studies need to be conducted. If one chooses to start a ketogenic diet, it is recommended that you consult first with your physician and a dietitian to closely monitor any biochemical changes after starting the regimen. That way, they are assisting you to create a meal plan that is tailored to your existing health conditions 
and to prevent any nutritional deficiencies or health complications. Are there any cons or negatives of a ketogenic diet? Yes. A ketogenic diet can have numerous risks you should be aware of. At the top of this list, it is high in saturated fat. Saturated fat can be linked to heart disease. I recommend that you keep saturated fats to no more than 7% of your daily calories because of its link to heart disease. While research surrounding keto is exciting, there's very little evidence to show that this type of eating is effective or safe over the long term for anything other than epilepsy. Also, very low carbohydrate diets tend to have high rates of side effects including constipation, headaches, bad breath, and much more. All right, it's important to get the right nutrients. Yep, getting a balanced set of nutrients on a ketogenic diet can be challenging. Meeting the diet's requirements means cutting out many healthy foods, making it difficult to meet your micronutrient needs. In most cases, a multivitamin is recommended while on a ketogenic diet. While multivitamins cannot replace nutrients found in foods, they can still fill in important keto micronutrient gaps. Please make sure to check the carbohydrate level, especially in chewable vitamins. A ketogenic diet can be great for people who are overweight, have diabetes, or are looking to improve their metabolic health. However, it might be less suitable for elite athletes or those wishing to add large amounts of muscle or weight. Speak with your doctor about your eating plan and goals to decide if a keto eating diet plan is right for you. That's been a quick keto breakdown with me, Dr. Wagner. Let me know in the comments if you've ever tried the keto diet or thinking about trying it. I'd love to hear about your experiences. As always, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.